So we have this program over here. I want you to try to solve it also. So let's say that you have a store and someone comes up to you and gives you some cents. Okay, so let's say he gives you 265 cents. Okay, so this person wants a change for these cents. So this program basically shows you how can you provide change for this person. So the 265 cents are equal to two dollars, two quarters, one dime, one nickel, and zero pennies. And as you can see, we have two solutions. Solution without the modulo operator and a solution using the modulo operator. So I want you to try and solve this exercise in two methods. Now what you need to know is that one dollar is equal to 100 cent. One quarter is equal to 25 cents. One dime is 10 cents and one nickel is 5 cents. So over here we have 265 cents. How many 100 do we have over here? We have 2 because 265 divided by 100 is equal to 2. Now the remainder is 65. How many 25 do we have in the 65? We have 2 also because 65 divided by 25 is equal to 2. So now since we have 2 quarters, 50 is gone and we still have 15. So how many 10 do we have in 15? Well, we have 1 because 15 divided by 10 is equal to 1. Now, 10 is gone and we still have 5. So how many 5 do we have in 5? Obviously, we have 1. And now we are left with nothing, so we have 0 pennies. So as you can see, this is our solution, 2, 2, 1, 1, 0. Let's see another one. Now we have 268. So we have the same thing over here, but at last, we are left with 3 pennies. So now I want you to try to solve this exercise and come back to see my solution. So don't worry if you didn't know how to solve this. Basically, this is mathematics and don't worry so much about mathematics right now. So as you saw before, we are defining these constants in order to work with. And we have this variable change amount. We will get the amount from the user and store it inside this variable. So now we will have a look at the first solution. I'm telling the user to enter an amount in cents and I'm storing the amount in this variable, change amount. Now I'm defining these variables. So I have a variable to store the dollars, quarters, dimes, nickels, pennies, and I have a variable to store the balance. So for example, let's say we have 250 cents. So 250 contains two dollars because it contains two 100. So now we are done with the dollars and we still have 50 to work with. So this 50, the remainder, will be stored inside our balance variable, okay? So now let's start. We want to calculate the dollars. So to see how many 100s we have in the variable change amount, basically we divide the change amount by 100. So this will give us how many dollars we have. And we are storing this inside the dollars variable. Now we are done with the dollars. So we want to remove the cents of the dollars from our change amount and work with the remaining quantity. So in our balance variable, we will store the remainder. So the remainder is, we want to subtract from the change amount the quantity of the dollars in cents. So in order to calculate this, basically we multiplied the number of the dollars by the dollar value. So for example, let's say we have 250. So first of all, 250 divided by 100, this will give us 2. So we have $2. Now, we have 250 minus 2 times 100, this will give us 200. And as you can see, 200 is the number of cents that we have for the dollars. So 250 minus 200, this will give us 50. And this is the remainder. Perfect. So 50 will be stored inside our balance. Now we will see how many quarters we have inside our balance. So quarters will be equal to balance divided by the quarter value, which is 25. So this will give us the number of the quarters. And now we will do the same thing. We will remove the cents of the quarters from our balance. So balance is equal to balance minus quarters multiplied by quarter value. Just like we did here, but we are using the compound assignment operator. So now you get the idea. And then we see how many dimes, 
then we remove the cents from our balance and the same applies for the nickels as you can see over here and whenever we remove the cents of the nickels whatever we still have inside our balance is going to be our pennies okay and over here we are displaying the dollars quarters dimes nickels and pennies so this is the first solution now if you didn't know how to solve this question i want you to stop this video and resolve it okay don't look at the code now that you have an idea try to resolve it without and with the model operator and now we will have a look at the model operator so this is the second solution over here so basically we are reassigning all these values to be equal to zero because we want to rework with them okay so to get the dollars change amount divided by the dollar value which is 100 this gives us the dollars now to get rid of the dollar cents we will do the following we will say balance is equal to change amount modulo dollar value so this basically will remove all the 100 values in our change amount so if the change amount is 250 we will remove two 100s so we will remove 200 and the remainder is 50 and we will store it inside our balance and the same applies over here so we are removing all the 25s from our balance and here we are removing all the 10s and here we are removing all the 5 so we are using this model operator instead of this calculation that we do over here for example okay so this is it and we are displaying the dollars quarters dimes nickels and pennies so if you don't understand the math very well it's not a problem it's okay just take this idea about the model operator so this is it for this video and I'll see you in the next one.